Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, check this out. This is Martian dust. That's right, it's dust from Mars. Well, how can that be? Because we haven't really gone to Mars and come back. Yes, we've sent many things to Mars. Well, not we, but you know, NASA has sent many things to Mars, but they haven't gotten anything back. At least that we know of, right? So it's kind of crazy, and in a roundabout way, you know, it's kind of iffy, but this really is dust from Mars. And let me explain how that can be. There's these little things called meteorites. That's right, some meteorites that have been found are actually from Mars, part of Mars. They have names like NWA6963, NWA7034, if you look those up, that'll actually tell you something. There are companies that will sell you Martian meteorite dust. So when they cut a meteorite, the saw blade kicks up a little bit of dust. We see it here when we're cutting geodes and thunder eggs and stuff. You've seen it with my rock saw. There's going to be some dust coming off it. Kind of like if you're cutting a board, there's going to be some sawdust. This is rock dust from the cutting process. So they have a meteorite that is proven to be from Mars. They cut it up so they can sell a bunch of little meteorites or make it into something. There is some dust left over. They can bottle that up and sell it to you. And really, it came from Mars. And you'll say, that's not the same, because it's not like we flew to Mars, picked it up, and came back, right? But it is the same, because it came from Mars. Two things. How do we know it came from Mars? And then how did it come here from Mars? Just like the moon, you see those craters when meteorites or celestial bodies of sorts hit a planet or a moon, it kicks up dust, it kicks up rocks, especially with lower gravity. There's plenty of meteorites here on Earth that are from the moon. Every crater you see on the moon, it's not a volcanic crater, it's an impact crater. And anytime something impacts it, we don't need to get into the you know physics, but something impacts it, something is kicked up. The moon has not as much gravity as the Earth. It's kicked up. The Earth's gravity eventually sucks it down and have meteorites. That's a meteorite from the moon. The same thing happens from Mars. I'm sure it probably takes longer to get here, but this came from Mars. That's the how. Now, if you're still a bit skeptical, let me tell you the how we know it's from Mars, not just the how it got here. So when NASA sent a lander to Mars and analyzed the rock and dust that's there on Mars, they were able to build, determine, to uh, understand, to see a signature of what Martian rock looks like. And don't quote me on this, but I really think it has to do with analyzing it with a gas chromatograph and they see what kind of gas is trapped in there. Because if you look up how can they tell a meteorite is from Mars here on Earth, they analyze the gas that is trapped in the porous sections of rock. So it's not exactly like being here on Earth where you say, look, this is granite, or this is basalt, or this is obsidian. Martian meteorites, and therefore we can say Martian rock, fits into three different categories, they say, and there's five distinct types. At least five distinct types that make it here to Earth. There are famous meteorites that have been found, they have been analyzed, they matched what NASA told them gas on Mars looks like. And then when other meteorites are found, they can compare it to the known meteorites. And then, bam, that's how they get the categories. But just know, we compare the gas from what's been analyzed on Mars to the meteorites that have been found here. Bam, they match or are similar. Then they have to have come from the same place. So is this really dust that came from Mars? Well, it's dust from a rock that came from Mars. And what is dust but little pieces of rock and dirt, correct? Therefore, this is actually from Mars. Take it out, touch it. You just touch something that came, not just from outer space, but it came from Mars. And then it was in outer space for a long time. And really quick about outer space. I used to think outer space was, you know, out of our solar system. No, outer space is, you know, out of the Earth's atmosphere. Now you know you can go online and you can buy some dust that came from a rock that came from Mars and therefore it is Martian dust. Now let me tell you about what is a disappointment. Not about me. I mean, if you talk to my mother, you'll find out plenty of disappointments. No, I mean about this Mars dust. 
I went online and I ordered moon dust. I wanted a moon rock. And, you know, they're kind of questionable about owning those things. So the next best thing is a meteorite that came from the moon or moon dust, which is dust, shavings, cuttings that came from a meteorite that came from the moon. Therefore, this dust came from the moon. We look up, we see the moon all the time. And yes, I've seen Mars. You can kind of see it in the distance. I've seen it with a telescope. I've seen it with my fancy cameras. But I wanted something from the moon because, bam, here's the moon right there. And when I open the package, it says Mars dust. I said, what the heck? And sure enough, it came with the Certificate of Authenticity for a Martian Meteorite. And I quote, We know that pieces of the red planet fell on Earth because of NASA's Viking mission. Scientists studied tiny amounts of gas trapped within the meteorite that landed on Earth and compared it to the data from the Viking mission and discovered it was a close match to the thin atmosphere of Mars. You know, a whole lot of scientific stuff there because of this, so we assume this and assume this, and it really came from Mars. But, and the big but here is, it's not what I wanted, and now I'm reluctant to purchase it again because I don't know I'm not going to get the same wrong thing again. Was it just a, an error? Was it a replacement because I didn't have any moon dust? I don't know, but I am really don't want to spend a bunch more money and get the same dang thing I didn't want in the first place. So anyways, this is for Mars, not the moon. I wanted the moon. I got Mars. You can say, well, Mars was farther. That's cooler. Well, maybe. And for all of you naysayers out there who say, well, then that's not Martian dust. That's not from Mars. Well, it technically is from Mars, and it might be a technicality that it's dust from Mars simply because it came from a rock that came from Mars that was cut and they made into dust, but really it's from Mars. I have a little vial of something from Mars, and you don't. <laughs> yeah, but I wanted something from the moon, right? All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.